What if I told you that you could double your greenhouse plant growth without blowing up your heating bill? It sounds impossible, right? Well, that's exactly what I did and I'm about to show you how you can do it too. Hey, it's really good to have you here. Thanks for watching. If you're someone who's sick of slow plant growth during the winter months or worried about skyrock energy bills, I think this video is going to be really helpful for you. I want to share this game-changing strategy that completely transformed my greenhouse setup and it's been pretty awesome. I've been testing this for, for about a month now and it's not just a theory anymore, it's actually working. So here's the deal. For years I kept my greenhouse just barely above freezing during those brutal winter months. Was that ideal for growth? No. But I thought I was being smart by saving money on my heating costs. The problem? My plants were barely growing. And some of them just look sad, like, why did you even plant us? Then one day I decided to stop winging it and actually figure this out. That's when I came across this research study by Ido Segener about the optimal temperature ranges for greenhouse plants. They recommended between 60 and 75 degrees as this sweet spot. And while it sounded great in theory, heating my greenhouse to that level in a climate where we regularly get five inches of snow like today, yeah, no, that wasn't gonna happen. But instead of throwing money at the problem, I thought, what if I kind of meet in the middle? Not the freezing zone and not this perfect intensive zone, but just in the middle, like the Goldilocks zone. So here's exactly what I did. At night, I kept the temperature between 40 and 50 degrees. During the day, I raised the temperature between 60 and 70 degrees, keeping it on the lower end when it was really cold outside, like in single digits. So on the cold nights, I would go for 40 degrees, and on the warmer nights, I would go for 50 degrees. And on the, the cooler days, I go for 60 degrees, and the cooler nights, I go for 70 degrees. Now, if that sounded confusing to you, it's probably because it was. So let me break it down with an example. If it's 10 degrees outside at night, keep your greenhouse on the lower range of 40 degrees. And then during the next day, keep your greenhouse at 60 degrees. This will give you a 20 degree temperature swing, which is about the most you want to have without before you start stressing out your plants. And then if it's 30 degrees or 40 degrees at night, keep your greenhouse at 50 degrees and then 70 degrees during the day. So that'll keep that'll keep that 20 degree difference that which is about the max you can have without stressing out your plants. But it'll actually increase photosynthesis to the maximum range, which is about 70 to 75 degrees. I hope that clears things up. In order to not like guess again, I actually started weighing plants. And here's the crazy part. My plants started doubling their growth rate, like twice the growth every single day. That wasn't supposed to happen, by the way. I mean, lettuce, it's supposed to be fine with cooler weather, but apparently it didn't like the Arctic either. The only exception I noticed on those super cloudy, cold, and damp days, growth just stopped completely. I even tried supplementing with grow lights, but honestly, it wasn't worth the energy costs. Even on full blasts, the extra, the extra growth just didn't justify the expense. But overall, double the growth just by tweaking the temperature a little bit. No expensive tech, no crazy gear just a little bit of adjustment to the thermostat. So here's the big takeaway. You don't have to aim for some impossible optimal temperature all the time. That's not realistic for most of us. What really matters is stability, a temperature range that works for you, your plants, and your budget. Once I stopped chasing perfection and started experimenting with what was manageable, that's when I really started to see progress. Takeaways for you, if you're keeping your greenhouse just above freezing, take this as an official sign to bump up those greenhouse temperatures just a little bit, maybe 10 to 15 degrees. You'll see a big difference, I think. Experiment with the ranges that make sense for you, your setup, and start tracking it. Whether it's plant weight, height, or leaf count, look for measurable signs that you're moving in the right direction. And hey, don't feel like you have to use the grow lights all the time, especially if you're if it's draining your energy bill. Sometimes it makes sense to go with fewer growth spurts during the harsh days and focus on just getting steady results. So that's my story. I hope it helps you. This process has changed everything for me. My plants are healthier. I'm saving money on energy. And for the first time, I feel like I'm actually running my greenhouse instead of my greenhouse running me. If you're testing or tweaking your own temperatures, I want to hear about it. What's working for you? Drop it down in the comments section. I'd love for us to learn from each other. Thanks for sticking around, and as always, happy growing.